preservation of food. According to our Indian philosophy, food is regarded as a form of God. However, we all know that millions of tons of food is being spoiled, wasted, discarded when a large number of our fellow beings are not getting even two square meals. So, we should not waste food, we should share it with others and we should try our best to preserve it. Preservation of Food How do we preserve food? We should know the methods. Perishable foodstuffs like milk, meat, fruits and vegetables must be stored in the refrigerator. Foods like spices, cereals, biscuits and other snacks should be kept in airtight jars. This helps to prevent their contact with the moisture in the air. The shelves and cupboards where they are stored must also be kept clean and dry. Food preservation is the process of treating and handling of food to stop or slow down the spoilage caused by microorganisms. Food preserved by this method can usually be stored for quite a long time. It can then be used even when it is not available in its fresh form. Some of the methods used for preservation of food are Dehydration in this process, water content of the foodstuff is removed. Since most microorganisms need water to grow, they cannot multiply or grow on dried foods. Many vegetables like onions and cauliflowers are dried to preserve them. Preservation by adding sugar and salt. Both sugar and salt serve as preservatives. These tend to take out moisture from the food so that it is not available for growth of microorganisms. This method is useful in preparing and preserving pickles and jams. Preservation by adding acidic acid. Acidic acid in the form of vinegar is used in the manufacture of several pickled products. Vinegar also stops the growth of microorganisms. Canning and bottling. Canning involves cooking food, sealing it in sterile cans or jars and boiling the containers to kill or weaken any remaining bacteria through a form of sterilization. Many fruits, vegetables and meat products are canned to preserve them. Pasteurization It is the process in which the food product is subjected to pasteurized heating for a short time followed by immediate cooling. The temperature used during pasteurization is below 212 degree Fahrenheit. Milk is pasteurized to kill microorganisms. However, many more heat res resistant organisms only get reduced in number and do not get completely removed. Hence, the pasteurized milk must generally be stored under refrigeration to keep bacterial growth in it under control. In addition to destroying some microorganisms, pasteurization also inactivates some 
enzymes and increases the shelf life of milk. Do you know pasteurization has been named after the well-known mythologist Louis Pasteur? Drinking unpasteurized milk is generally not safe as we can get diseases due to the presence of disease causing microorganisms. We should always drink fresh unpasteurized milk. Refrigeration This process uses low temperature to prevent growth of microorganisms. Microorganisms and enzymes get deactivated at low temperature and hence the spoilage of food gets prevented. Vacuum Packing In this method, air is removed from the package. Prior to sealing, the vacuum thus created reduces oxygen in the package. This limits the growth of bacteria or fungi in the package. This method is commonly used to store dry foods like cereals, nuts, coffee, cheese and potato chips. Do you know? Foods containing fats and oil change their smell and taste and become rancid in the presence of oxygen. Manufacturers usually fill nitrogen gas in packets of potato chips and other namkeens to prevent them from becoming rancid. Imp importance of food preservation Food preservation is helpful in many ways. It helps to maintain nutritive value of food. It increases the shelf life of food, thus increasing its supply. Many perishable foods can be preserved for a long time. It makes seasonal foods available throughout the year. It decreases wastage of food by preventing decay or spoilage of food. It helps in adding variety to the diet. For example, in some countries, some fruits and vegetables cannot be easily grown due to unfavorable soil or weather conditions. Their non-availability can be overcome through import of preserved fruits and vegetables from other parts of the world. So, promise me, no, wait, promise yourself that you will not fill up your plates with all types of food available even without thinking. Take what you eat and eat what you take. Okay? Let us discuss some keywords and their meanings like dehydration. It is a process of removing water from a substance. Enzymes Chemicals present in fruits and vegetables which speed up chemical changes in them. Food preservation The process of treating or handling of food to stop or slow down its spoilage or decay. Microorganisms Organisms like bacteria and fungi which are too small to be seen by unaided eye. Pasteurization The process of heating food followed by immediate cooling to limit the growth of microorganisms.
Thank you.